up everyone, welcome back to the annual Epitaph Halloween Spooktacular Special here on Epitaph Joshua and we're going to talk about Saw 10. This is directed and edited by Kevin Gruder and written by The Riders of Spiral and Jigsaw. This stars Tobin Bell, Shawnee Smith, Sinever McCarley Lunds, Stephen Bryan, and Michael Beach. That is pretty much the cast. This is the 10th entry into the Saw franchise and it was released last week with Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie. Pretty weird combination. Follow Jigsaw as he goes to Mexico for a miraculous cure for his cancer. And this is a risky and experimental medical procedure. But when he arrives, he is only there to discover the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. And so with a newfound purpose, the infamous serial killer uses the range and ingenuous traps to turn the tables on the con artist. I am a fan of the Saw franchise. I have been a fan since the Saw 3 in 2010 at Christmas when I first watched it. And I was interested in how this was going to be. Because not only this was the 10th movie in the series that has gone on since 20 years ago in 2004, but this is also a sequel and a prequel to it. I was a little worried that this was just going to be easy cop out and we're not going to have much to it. And it's been so long since Jigsaw has been front and center of one of these movies. But having watched the movie, I can say this is one of my favorites in the Saw franchise. Saw 10 is kick ass. In the positive side of Saw X, I will have to say the biggest thing I compliment this movie for is this movie relies heavily on Tobin Bell and Jigsaw. I love that. I love the fact that after 10 movies and he died at the end of Saw 3, we focus on Jigsaw being front and center. He wants to get this cancer out of his body. He wants to try to have a cure for it so he can live longer. But also, we do find out that there is somebody playing him, and that kicks it into high gear in terms of this. And also, it helps that Tobin Bell's performance here is more personal. This is a very personal performance when it comes to him. The guy is almost the guy is 80 years old, and he's able to still do all the movements and still act his ass off here. And we take a hit at those people who work in pharmaceuticals. I think some people are not going to very much enjoy that, but here we see a weak John Kramer who finds solace in group meetings and with other cancer patients. But we also see that Kramer was always older when he began these games, but he was still odd to see him weak. And he wants to fight for his life, so he does this procedure in exchange for $250,000, but is very suspicious here. You side with John Kramer more, and you ultimately connect with him to the point where you're actually wanting to see the ones who betrayed him get their coming. And when he captures all those responsible for it, the doctors and nurses, and prefers the surgery on him, he expresses to them in every movie, you took an innocent people's lives and you toyed with the hopeness of being clear and being good. And Cecilia is the main one responsible for this. So she becomes enemy number one. So when it gets to the kills and when it gets to the torture of moments here, I have to say, this makes you feel more bad for Jigsaw's character than he's ever been. And his relationship with Amanda, of course, Shawnee Smith, one of the goddesses of horror, still was good for her age too. She has more time to shine than ever. You have the traps here, they're very effective, they're very brutal, they're very intense, and there was one trap in this movie involving the eyes, which you saw in the trailer, you saw the marketing. Ugh. There are some traps though, I literally have to look away and I just got under my skin, but that's the fact I love about these movies, is also the traps. And the story is very compelling and very straightforward. Despite this movie have been a prequel to Saw 1 and 2, in the chronological order, in this franchise, 
they definitely do pull strings when it comes to this. It does not hold back. I love the fact that we are exploring the fact that he is feeling this way. And Jigsaw is getting back at people who did him wrong. And I usually don't root for the villains like this, but because he's hypocritical. He's taking people's lives, but he also wants people to appreciate what they have. So you definitely get that side of things here. Also, from direction-wise, Kevin Gruder brings out a lot of the compelling emotions here, but this, he also is able to bring out the kills here. It's well edited as well. This is 118 minutes long, and it's a lot of practical effects here with this. There's not a lot of CGI. Now, you're going into this with some intense thrills here. And with the thrills are there. I definitely like the thrills in this. It is a well shot movie here. There are some moments where it does, you have your usual saw typical style of cinematography editing, but it works for this franchise and it works for this movie. Charlie Clouser does a good job with the score once again. I always love the saw themes here. But the biggest thing when it comes to this movie is Tobin Bell and Shawnee Smith. Their performances are very well done here. When they said it was going to get personal here, it got personal with her, and the effects here are really good in this as well. So, there are some good practical effects here with only CGI being used for the techniques. When it comes to the acting in here, the acting is great in this. I love the performances in this. Fell as Jigsaw, this is a very personal film for him. He's having to deal with living with cancer, but he's also trying to punish those who wronged him. And he gets a lot of great moments in here. Same with Amanda. What more can I say about her? Nev McCody, Lund, Stephen Brand. You have Michael Beach from Soul Food in this, which is always nice to see him. Acting in this movie is great. Some do more well than others, mainly with Stephen Brand, but everyone does a good job here in the acting wise. My one and only small negatives, this is mainly two negatives I do have when it comes to Saw 10. I do think some of the writing is very weak at points. Like, there are some character moments that are not that great here. I think some of them could have been done way better than others. I will also say that some of the character motivations and some of the character development isn't as strong with some of these people who wronged him. And I also thought most, most of Stephen Brown here was just kind of there in this mainly, but those are really the only issues I have. I don't want to go into spoiler territory because it just came out. At the end of the day, Saw 10 is another great, is probably the best one in the series for me since Saw, since Saw 6. I've enjoyed a lot of these Saw movies, but this one I thought was more personal. It focused on Jigsaw being front and center. The cost that the people have to pay for what they did to him. And overall, I was pleasantly entertained by this. If you are a Saw fan or a casual Saw fan, I would definitely recommend this. If you're not a biggest fan of this franchise, I would still recommend it. But please be assured that when it gets violent, it gets violent. And this is a fun time. The cinematography is good, the performances are good, I love the intense moments, I love the psychological traps here. And while it is flawed with some weak writing, some iffy moments of technical aspects, and also with a few character motivations, I thought this was way better than what I expected. I'm going to go ahead and give Saw 10 an epitaph. Well, that's going to do it for the video that you just watched. If you want to see more, my channel icon is up here. If you want to see more content from me, all my social medias are right here in this end card. I will also leave a playlist and a video here for you to see what the channel is about. As always, acknowledge me, stay epitastic, join the epitastinists, and you guys keep it cool.